Okay, I did another take of the acoustic guitar, and I'm really happy with take number three. So that's the one I want to listen to while I'm recording my vocal. If I wanted to hear a different one, I could just click on that, and that becomes the active take. So I want to hear take three, so I click on take three. If I wanted to hear take one, I'd click on take one. So that's simply how we can select the take we want to hear. I'll hit home to go back to the beginning of the session. So let's set up for recording vocals. I suggest using the same mic and input on your audio interface that you use for the acoustic guitar. So what next? Well, we need to create a track to record on, and we can do that by hitting Control T on Windows or Command T on a Mac, or simply double clicking in the track area. And what's the next thing we need to do? Name the track. We're recording vocals, so I'm going to call this Vocals. Actually, I'll just call it Vocal. After we've named the track, we need to tell Reaper where to get the audio from. If you haven't changed anything, and you're in analog input number one, it should default there. In my case, however, I'm using ADAT input number one on my interface. Again, we'll need to set our input gain, as it was fine for guitar, but vocals could be a different volume. So to do that, we need to arm the track so we can see the input level on the meter. So using the input gain on your audio interface, you can change the input level, and we're aiming for something about minus six on the meter. In my case, I'm pretty close. If I wanted to uh, adjust that, I could, I could adjust my input level here and turn it down. And I'm gonna turn it back up, because I had a pretty good level. A good way to test this is to sing the loudest part of the song you're about to sing, and just making sure that you don't clip the input. So I'm gonna do that. Come what may, this pain will pass away, our paths will cross. I'm pretty close. I may actually want to clear this. I see I'm at minus five. I'm just going to clear that. I'm going to turn my input down just a little tiny bit. And I'm going to try again. Come what may, this pain will pass away. Okay. It's funny, when I talk, I actually talk a little bit louder than I sing. So I'm happy with that level, though. I feel good. I feel like I'm not going to clip. I've got enough room. So the next thing I want to do is create a headphone mix. So this is the same process as when we recorded the acoustic guitar. Start by plugging in your headphones into your audio interface. Remember, if you have speakers plugged in, turn them all the way down or just turn them off. This time, we want to listen to the click track and acoustic guitar while we record our vocals. To set up our headphone mix, we'll need to balance the vocals with the tracks being played back in Reaper. To do this, you'll need to either use the mix knob on your interface, turn on your direct monitoring switch, then adjust the headphone volume if necessary, or use your audio interface's direct monitoring software. If you need to review how to do this, go back to the lecture called Getting Audio into Reaper earlier in this section. So now I'm happy with my headphone mix. So to do a recording, we make sure our track is armed, which it is, and either by hitting the record button here in the transport bar or using the shortcut of Control R on Windows machine or Command R on a Mac, we can get this show on the road. So let's do it. Okay, I'm going to do a couple more takes so I can get something that I'm happy with. You'll also notice I didn't let the ending ring out like I did with the acoustic guitar because when my vocal was done, my vocal was done. It doesn't have a resonance that rings out like a guitar does. So I can safely hit stop after a couple of seconds of silence. So I'm going to do a couple more takes and then we'll come back. <laughs> 